Hey guys, it's Mike back again with another video. Uh, this one's about the DJI Mavic Air and how you can switch. Oh, you want to say hi, bud? Hi. That's my son Ian. He says hi. All right, so this is how you. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how you could switch from 2.4 to 5.8 um, on the fly and what to look for. So your little Wi-Fi symbol at the top. Mine says 5.8G right now. Just tap that going to take you into your Wi-Fi settings all the channels in green lower is better so you have 2.4 left side 1 through 11 that's 2.4 5.8 is 149 to 165 149 looks like it's pretty crowded and that's what I'm on right now so I'm gonna go to 157 you tap that at the bottom 157 number it says it will take effect after you tap it hit OK Boom. Now I had a, a commenter ask me, can you do this while flying? So I'm just going to show you that answer right now. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. I'm going to show you. Tapping 5.8. You see how the numbers are blocked out down here? Well, they're grayed out. You cannot do it while you're flying, so. Just landing again so I could show you guys. All right, so uh, a few misconceptions. Like, people think 2.4 is going to be better than 5.8. Yes, in theory, that's true. Um, 2.4 will get you farther distance, but with DJI drones, it's just simply not the case. Um, especially with the Mavic Air 5.8 they have it 31 dBm's 2.4 they have a 28 dBm so 5.8 is actually stronger but more powerful so it's the same with my Phantom 4 Pro like I can actually get way better distance consistently in 5.8 for those of you that got a Phantom 4 Pro just try it all right pick a channel manually um, now uh, yeah, I would like 2.4 to be clear and, and, you know, get that range that everyone talks about. But for me, 5.8 has worked great. I get just as far on 2.4 and it's not as laggy. So, uh, another thing is, if you choose custom and then you, you know, you shut down, go back out the fly, you reboot the device it's going to stay in the channel that you had previously picked so if you pick one you know 157 on 5.8 next time you boot up and go to fly again it's going to be on that channel so what i do is i just make it a plan to check my uh channels every time you know i'm getting ready get ready to take off i see what channel is the most you know most clear and i pick a clear one and that's that my flight experience with the air has been totally fine um, even in auto, but I can consistently get 12, 13,000 feet, 14,000 feet, you know, picking a custom channel. Alright guys, so uh, that was another one from your boy Mike. Alright, have a good day.